So this question is about cells and, more importantly, internal resistance. So cells um, are used to power small electrical devices and contain conductors and insulators. Define a conductor and an insulator. Well, a conductor is a material that has free electrons. And these free electrons move when a potential difference is placed across it. So the electrons are free to move, the charges, you can write electrons or charges, are free to move because they're given a push by the potential difference. Now that's the conductor. The insulator is something that does not, or well, a material, sorry, that does not have free electrons. The, the electrons are tied to the atom. Okay, and that is your insulator. So question number two, outline what is meant by internal resistance of the cell. Okay, so simply that some of the energy or power is dissipated in, in trying to push the current through the cell. Okay, so by dissipated, we mean used. Try and avoid words like wasted, because you know, energy is not wasted, it's transferred into different types. So power and energy is used, wait, um, transferred, sorry, used, transferred or dissipated in driving current through the cell. And now we get to the core of the question. It's about um, lemon batteries. So, a lemon is used to make an electric cell by pushing a copper rod and a zinc rod into the lemon. So, let's have a look at what they're asking. Right, so the student wants to construct a lemon cell and connects it in an electric circuit with a variable resistor. The student measures the potential difference across the lemon and the current I in the lemon. Draw a circuit diagram of the experimental arrangement that will enable the student to collect data for the graph. Okay, now what's on the graph? The graph will be potential difference across the lemon and the current in the lemon. So let's have a look at what that circuit will look like. Now here is our lemon. So you can just simplify the diagram. And we need the potential difference across it. So our voltmeter will be here. And then we need the current through it. So if we expand this to here, we will have an ammeter. Now, the question is, how are we actually going to change the potential difference in the current? You will change it by having a variable resistor here. Okay. And so now we use the variable resistor. We will increase and decrease the, resistor, the resistance, right? So as you increase and re reduce the resistance, the current will change. And as a result of that current changing, the potential difference will change as well. Okay, so that's our circuit. The next question. Show that the potential difference across the lemon is given by V equals E minus IR. Where E is the EMF of the lemon cell and R is the internal res resistance. So the best way to interpret this question, question is uh, Kirchhoff's law. So if we equate the energy in to the sum of the PDs, oh, let me write that down correctly, okay, so there we have our notation for um, summation of energy in equals the summation of the PDs, so that would be our EMF would be equal to the Potential difference across the internal resistor plus the potential difference across the large resistor. And if we leave that in the correct notation, we would end up with E equals V, because that's what we're using, um, plus IR, which we would rearrange to give us it in this format. 
Okay, so now this becomes a question that's very similar to the experiment you did on Friday. We show we have a graph here of V against I. Okay, so using the graph, estimate the EMF of the lemon cell. Well, you should know if we have EMF equals V minus IR. Oops, there, I've written it properly. Um, and we rearrange it in the format that they stated in the first part of the question, which would be E minus IR equals V. And so we linearize it now to give us Y equals MX plus C. Okay, and now if we interpret that, interpret that in our graph, we have um, V on the y-axis, okay, which is exactly what's going on there. And then you have I on the x-axis, which we have here. And therefore, we're going to end up with a minus gradient, okay, and the intercept will be equal to the EMF. So if we're going to use the graph to estimate the EMF of the lemon cell, what we're looking for is the intercept. Okay, so we have a look up here. Our intercept is 1.6 volts. Okay, always check the axes when you're reading intercepts and gradients. Okay, so we end up with 1.6 volts. question asks for the gradient okay because it asks for the internal resistance so if we have a closer look and the important thing here is to take two easy to read and simple read off so I think 1.6 and 0.4 would be good points because then we would have 1.6 minus 0.4 which gives us 1.2 okay so that's our rise and bear in mind that it's decreasing so it's negative okay and then we have to look at because we're looking at that one aren't we so we need to look at the run which would be 4 because it's there bang on 4 minus naught, which gives us four. Milliamps, when you're reading off the graph and finding gradients in questions like this, they're always gonna sneak in some kind of value on the graph. So it's times 10 to the minus three. Okay, so if you now work out the gradient, it will be 1.2 divided by four times 10 to the minus three. Okay, which gives you um, 300, and the actual range that's permitted is 290 to 310. So if you get a resistance in that range, then you're okay. Remember to include the units when you're working out intercepts and gradients. Very important. So... This next question, determine the internal resistance, we've done, okay, and let's go on to some simple calculations. The lemon cell is used to supply energy to a digital clock that requires a current of 6 microamps. The clock runs for 16 hours. Calculate the charge that flows. So it's a very simple question, it's asking you to work out the charge, Q, which is equal to IT, okay, you should remember, because current equals charge over time. Okay, so rearranging that, you get this equation. And the current is 6 times 10 to the minus 6, okay, because it's micro amps times 16, but it's hours, and you need it in seconds. So times 60 times 60, which gives you 0.35. Coulombs. 
Now this next one's a sneaky one. It asks, calculate the energy transferred by the lemon cell in 16 hours. And it's sneaky because it doesn't follow on from the previous calculation. It actually wants you to go back to the graph. Now if you remember, the EMF, which you've read off the graph, was equal to 1.6 volts. So that's the energy that is supplied. And all of that eventually would be transferred into energy such as heat, etc. Um, so if that's the voltage, we have 1.6 volts, which is equal to energy over charge. Because that's the definition of voltage, isn't it? The energy per unit charge. So therefore, energy over charge equals 1.6. The amount of coulombs, that should be a Q, shouldn't it? The amount of coulombs is 0.35. So energy equals 1.6 times 0.35, which gives you 0 0.56 joules.